All right, guys, here we are. We're in uh, top eight of the Kaijudo Championship, Seattle, Washington, for the Summer Championships. We got CVH on the left. And? And we got Ryan Bishop on the right. Commentating, we've got Carl Reddish in the... Uh, the well-known TKC. TKC or Corlin Harris, like probably that. For this top eight match, they are determining who goes first randomly, uh, unlike what they've done for KMCs and also the LCQs. Oh, yeah, that's a difference so, in rules there, okay. Uh, looks like Ryan rolled a four. I didn't catch what CVH rolled. I didn't catch what he rolled either. But, Let's see. Uh, uh, CVH is going to want to be on the play. Probably, yes. He has a very aggressive mono light build. Yes. Um, it's it's kind of, you know, just really shown its its presence today. Yeah, I know. Three people have been using it today. They all and put up pretty great records and shocked the whole community. CBH actually has awesome. gone completely undefeated. Didn't do any draws. Yeah. Look at that. His progression is really good. That is really good. Shimmering into a chasm. Now, so Ryan Bishop put Dragon's Breath into mana. Mm -hmm. So that means that if he has that in shields, that could be pretty brutal for Monolite. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, what is CBH? He's going to want a turn to... A Cloudwalker would be pretty nice yeah. here. Maybe even a okay, Rodigal. Well, Starker Sphere. Okay. He's got really good progression. Rody Gale in mana. So Shotgun out would be pretty nice here. Now if he would have if Ryan Bishop would have had a bird out or something, the blinder beetle would have worked, but he hasn't unlocked right, yeah. light yet. Exactly. Kazza would have been able to do something. Second second shield bath. Oh, in mana. okay. Yeah, yeah skull not, shatter. You're not, you're not gonna cast that. You're not gonna need skull no. shatter. There's no way that's gonna happen. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan's gonna hope to get to eight. There you go. Yeah. Is this the spark blade? Oh, oh keeper, keeper of laws. So that, that makes it, it really to difficult. Blade something. Yeah, it makes it really difficult for yeah. Ryan here. Okay. Because now this just gives CVH more cards every time he activates the shield blast. Mm -hmm. So now I've seen CVH throttle right, right around. Um, yeah, yeah, he gets three. the keeper trigger. Right around okay. four to five mana, gives him just enough. To oh right, okay. Yeah. Go chasm and then spark blade protector. Mm -hmm. Which here's the spark, the spark blade protector. Coming Double breaker two shields, yeah. This and, is really huge. As long as there's no shield blast, yeah. CBH will definitely go with the keeper laws, yeah. And no shield blast, and that's already game wow. one. Wow, that, that was a really quick four? game. That was, I think, that was five turns. Five turns. Five turns was all he needed. Yeah. It, like you were saying, the progression of CBH's deck it gets the one drop, the two drop, the blinder beetle to get whatever else. Yeah. Get, and get the chasm. Oh, really good. Now that was the end of game one. Yep. Going into game two, everybody's gonna shuffle up. All right, here we are, game two. CVH is up one game uh, and has the really oh, now good it, progression. Now it's a Magris. Again. Now this is even better because it can actually hit a shield with that Magris, whereas Chasm kind of just sits there. Mm -hmm. uh, so he got the Lux. Ryan on the right has got the Lux. Even, even he's got to he's got to let something stick so he can go after yeah. the Magris's 500 power. Um, so CVH gets Prism Blade, which is really awesome in this deck. It's a 3,500 blocker that could actually attack, and it's also an enforcer, so you could evolve it. He's got the Heart of Light. Yeah, Heart of Light. So he decides not to swing with the Magris because Lux, you know, if he manages to get rid of the Prism, you know, Magris could be gone. Ryan has unlocked all the colors of his deck. I would not be surprised and if he tries... they're all Shield Blast. <laughs> yeah, that too. I would not be surprised if he tries to do a turn four Herald. Yep, that's, Herald of Infernus. That would be a really that's crucial how play the deck here. Works. Yeah. So he's gonna swing with the Prism Blade. No shield no blast. No shield blast. Does not attack with the uh, the Magus. Magus. He really wants to keep it there. Probably save it for bait. Four mana. Is it the Herald? Oh, it is. Keeper. Oh, of keeper. Laws. keeper. Okay. Um, there's um, only six uh, spells. Yeah, only Storm Spark Blast and Containment Field. Yeah, so so uh, Containment Field could be a threat here. So I guess Keeper Laws. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah, it could be. You I think. Like, I think. CVH is just more aggressive. It's gonna go. Because if he plays containment field, he can get rid of his whole field. Evo. There it is. There's like a I spark said, blade again. There we he go. Gets on the next. That explains why he didn't attack the two turns before. Yeah, absolutely. It breaks two shields. No shield blast again. Oh wow. Going in for one more. Prison blade. And I would. Oh, there's oh. a terror pit. Oh, oh. Now it slows him down. I would say he's gonna go for the double breaker. I, I would think, think so too. Yeah. Okay. He does have one shield left. It's. It's just because he can. He can go after the 35 and 35. Moves. With the keeper law and the um, the spark blade or the mm. the prism blade. Okay, yeah, so there, see, yeah, like I said. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, right call. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's swinging at the stalker spear. And there now, we go. He now there's no surprises with shield blasts. Exactly. And he's nowhere yeah. near nine mana for Andromeda. 
so so um, we're gonna go for um, Tonus. What will he do? He just needs a Chasm Blade, one more mana, and another Evo right. or Rory Gale. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Here. To say, this is a good match. Yeah, right now he can get rid of the Prism Blade or the Stalker Sphere, but how is he gonna get rid of the other creature? That's basically what he needs to find right yeah. now. Whether it's Bone Blade. Uh, Grip of the Spare. Grip of the Spare. Bottle and Prey is another thing Grip. he could do. No bottle. Oh, Ooh. here we go. Oh, this, this is it. If you, you go Andromeda. Andromeda. Oh, if you, Awaken. If Awaken, Awaken really shuts down this. the deck. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah. Can't, this can't is really crucial anyway. here. I mean, this is the flip to, to save be. his match here. Yeah, Awaken. Yeah, just, this is insane. Awaken would force it to a game three. This is one of the most exciting moments about Kaijuna mm -hmm. matches. Playing bottle and seeing what happens out of nowhere. It's Big Dragon. Yep, it's Farron's. Wow. Okay. All right, here we go. CBH shuffling, shuffling up the deck. Give it a nice shuffle. Yeah. He's really not hoping for. This could be it. Here we go. This could be it. Let's see what it is. The miracle it's flip. A, a skull shatter. shatter. Sadly, that is the and game. That is, that, that is the end and of that game, is the two. game two. CBH a quick match, it. not even 10 minutes long. No. That's what this deck no. does. That's what it does. It may be the glass cannon that uh, takes this tournament. Pretty much. So, TKC, sign us out. Yep, this is TKC, the Kaiju Channel, here with Carl Reddish, aka Thunder Sultan. And we're here at the Kaiju Championships. We just finished the top eight match between Christian Van Hoos and Ryan Bishop here. And Christian Van Hoos will be advancing to top four.